Welcome back, Cyber Traders, for another exciting day. Who's ready to start trading again? My God, I'm ex I'll tell you, I've been exhausted for the past couple of days. Good to see you, Bonnie. Mike Grant, good to see you. Kent Thole, already up 52 cents on American Airlines. There you go. Give him a round of applause. Way to start off early. Yeah, I still have, um, I held uh, JetBlue, you know, I held it for some nasty shakes, but I've been trading since 8 o'clock this morning, got in right around here, and uh, kind of like at the 10.69 I got it. So it looks like it's doing pretty well, kind of just holding on to it right now for a little bit. A little nasty stock, uh, thought I was going to do some nasty shakes, but it's doing okay. Market's uh, up about 70 points right now, it's pretty volatile. But listen, we're going to have a crazy morning again, like anything else. Just want to kind of explain everybody what's going on and, and so on. Um, you know, I feel like when we're trading, you know, everyone keeps asking me, do you think we hit the bottom? We hit the bottom. I, you know, now we got the whole stimulus package going on, and I think a lot of people are factoring how it's going to get. I think we're pretty much there where it comes to the bottom when it comes to trading. And when, when by looking at the bottom, what you got to look at is this. Um, you have to focus on there are stocks today that you probably wanted to buy that you couldn't afford, and now you can. I think you're still going to have some volatility going on. Um, I mean, we had a big, big pop like we did. If bad news does come out, I don't think we're going to go down as much as we should. As it looks like, we might get a little volatility going here, but it looks like we're pretty strong right around these prices uh, regarding. So swing trading, you know, listen, you want to be a good swing trader. You all know you got to be a damn good day trader, okay? That's really what it comes down to it. You got to know how to day trade. That um, Now, regarding about what's going on for today, I mean, obviously you heard the good news. It looks like they passed the stimulus package. We'll see what happens today. Uh, you know what? I'm a little concerned about the house, though. I mean, you know what I mean? It's not that the, you got two different parties that are running one versus the other. You never know somebody's going to throw in at two cents again, and then all of a sudden it's going to put a wrench into it. But if they do, I don't think it's going to be terrible, you know, other than how much lower could the market drop. Go right back down to 19000 which will pretty much be there again. So it looks like we're really kind of build some stability there. So once again, if you're looking to swing trade, you know, there are some really good buys out there. Um, I got... I mean, I, I, some people got lucky. I didn't get so lucky with with uh, with BA. I'm doing great now on it, but I bought. Obviously, you guys know I bought at 170. I was drooling. I always wanted to own BA Boeing at, at three in 350. I thought, like, my God, maybe it is a steal. Then when it dropped down to 200, 170, I owned it at 170, which you all know. But I averaged down at like 95, thank God. And now, sure enough, look where it is at 150. So BA is doing great. You know, there's some really, really good buys. Now, is it still cheap? I mean, listen, I, I can't tell you. I'm, I'm not, a, I'm not an, anal an analyst. I can't tell you what to do. It's illegal for me to tell you that. But all I could tell you is that there, there are. if you are looking to do something and you really like something, I mean, you don't want to miss this opportunity because these opportunities in trading do not come very often. And like I said, last time we had this opportunity was the financial crisis. And look what they gave on the financial crisis, not even a trillion dollars. And look what happened. We went from 15,000 down to 6666 on the Dow back up to, you know, 18. So, you know what? If you feel like you're chasing, it's not the end of the world. Now, listen, I can just waste, go through stocks after stocks after stocks. But listen, the Dow was up, had one of the biggest percentage uh, moving ever, you know, since 1933, they said. I mean, I could just go through the list, but there was just so many stocks out there you guys could have cleaned up on. If it was Delta, if it was, you know, uh, Boeing, you know, let me bring up the two-day chart. I mean, I don't know what happened, but they all popped like at the end of the day. I mean, look at 115, it went to 103. And you know, we don't trade these stocks. We don't trade them. We work off the big percentage gainers and losers. But like the, the markets like this, you, you have no choice. You got to do what you got to do. But there were a lot of good moving stocks out there. There was this one. Um, I, I mean, Jesus, all the, uh, I mean, I did really well on, on Royal Caribbean. I mean, you know what? If you love that 130, you got to be drooling, you know, at 36, 40. I mean, look at, look at, look at, look at the long-term chart on the right. There's still lots of movement, you know. 
I'm a little nervous about the cruise companies in a way. I don't know if they're going to come back as quickly because uh, apparently they said they might be docked for about a, a year, they said. That was a rumor going around. I don't know if that's true, but that's pretty bad. But all the airlines, guys did great. American Airlines going up. You see, the big thing that we focus on when it comes to trading is we're looking for the ones that get crushed the most. The ones that get crushed the most are the ones that are going to rebound the best. Uber, all those, they all popped. I own that kind of kick. I wish I still had my $16 trade when uh, when the CEO came out, uh, that one. Oh, yeah, like yesterday we talked about, remember, remember the CEO came out on, on Fox Business? And I, and I started at 8 o'clock. I says, guys, the, the CEO comes on. That's a strategy. We teach you that in class. We teach you what to, talk, what to look for in class. And sure enough, boom. One, we own at 117, the thing ran to 122. You know what I mean? Like, these are things that you're looking for, just like Uber. CEO came out, $16. You got to look and see when these CEOs, if they're on CNBC or Fox Business, the financial stations, you know, when they come out and they talk, believe me, they're going to make the market move. And that made that Boeing pop. So there were a lot of stocks that we did well. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, listen, um, I just put a tweet, I mean, not a tweet, a tweet also, and also my Instagram. I mean, look at Disney for crying out loud. I mean, Disney, if you go back, and let me go back monthly. I mean, Disney has really testing some major supports. Look where it's been since 2010. From 15, if it breaks this, these prices right around here, then it will go down. But Disney is actually killing it, you know, with all their stuff. They're doing unbelievable. But it's it hit a major, major support level. If it Listen, if it goes down to 80 again, then obviously it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a see you later. But... But the thing is, the thing was at 160. You know what? What's wrong with that picture? B8. Oops, felt it wrong. What's wrong with that picture? What is wrong with that picture right there? 2010? I mean, these are what, when you're looking for, when you're looking for trades, this is what we're looking for, okay? So, if, uh, you know, I know uh, all of them. Oops. They're all, um, they're, all, they're all basically moving pretty well. So, oh, yeah, you're talking about the uh, bond you meant to N, what is it, the NCLH. You've got the H to that. I mean, what's wrong with that picture? So the only issue that we've learned that you know in class that we teach you is that when you break all-time lows, that's when you have a problem. Remember, that's where program trading comes in, which, by the way, just kind of reiterates some things to you guys. The big issue you got to worry about when it comes to trading, what's the market? Market's up 170. Um, there's a lot of algorithms that are going on right now. A lot of algorithms, okay? So what that means is that these stocks are extremely volatile and program trading is kicking in. It's buying on the bid, selling on the offer. You got to be careful because, and especially if you're new here to Cyber Trade University, the pre-market, they got to be careful of these spreads. You know, the cheapest thing you could do is buy the stock. The most expensive part of the trade is the spread. And some of these spreads are pretty ugly. So be careful because, you know, you can be really, really, you get yourself in big, big trouble when it comes to trading. Yeah, GE um, Benito, that's a good level one stock. You know, look at that. That stock um, really didn't take that big of a hit, actually. I mean, it really hasn't. Gee, but GE, when you go back, look, at it, it's at a major support level. You know, so it's a nice level one stock. You know, but GE, when you look at it, we're looking all the way back in 2009. That's where support levels were. You know, so we're ready to go. Went from 16 down to 7, still down 50% haircut, you know. But there are some pretty good buys. But GE is actually moving pretty nicely. But let me go uh, down the list. Listen, there's a lot of them up here looking through the big percentage gainers. You know, you got this, this other little cheap little stock that's moving. You know, once in a while we do trade some stocks like this. You know, this one's moving up pretty nicely, but not the greatest fan, but it's up 133%. Uh, there's a lot of penny stocks here. This is a stock that got destroyed yesterday, decimated. Um, it could be a dead cat bounce, $8. It went all the way down to $0.32. Cents. Let me check the time frame on this one. This thing just got crushed. I don't know if it's filed bankruptcy or whatever, but it's coming back a little bit. Um, that one, you could probably get a little dead cat bounce on it, MFA. But um, what else we got? This the, the ones that we were trading this morning – was this one, the CTSO moved up pretty nicely. That one went from $5. Oh, let me see. That one uh, went from 
up 46%, 1.1 million shares. She's kind of holding here pretty strong, so we'll see what happens when she opens. But as of right now, she's not really the play. ASTE was fun. You guys did really well on uh, that one's also moving pretty pretty well. That one's gapped up pretty nicely. Uh, what else did we have here? ASTC. That was the one I meant. I'm um, sorry, I spelt it wrong. I meant the C, not the E, the C. That one did. You guys did really well. That one just popped right at eight o'clock. Eight o'clock went from a buck sixty to three eighty, up a hundred and eighty three percent. That one did really well. That stock's doing well. Um, what else we got? JetBlue. They're all doing pretty well. All the airlines. I mean, Charles is bringing up Save. You know, they're all doing well. Save is doing. Look at forty five to ten. Listen, they're gonna bail them out. They have no choice. They're not gonna listen. I said this to, before, and you know what? If you loved Obama or if you hate Obama, the greatest thing that they did is they bailed out the banks. A lot of people didn't like that they bailed them out, all right? But look what happened to the economy. It worked out great. Some people like Trump. Some of you guys hate Trump. But look what Congress is doing right now. You know, back then, the financial crisis was, a, was, a, was less than a trillion. Now we're talking $6 trillion they're dumping in to save the economy. This is not a financial crisis. I keep repeating it. This is a stupid virus, okay? It's a sickness. This is not a, a, a crash of the economy. You know, it can be the longer we keep blowing it off. But, the, the, you know, you, you're seeing some opportunities that you wish you could have got before, and now is your opportunity. I mean, look at these things. $13, when would you ever think that you would ever be able to buy Spirit Airlines, which, by the way, I hate Spirit Airlines. That's why I guess I, I – maybe that's why I didn't trade it. <laughs> I'm not a fan of spirit, um, but sure enough, there was some good buys. Um, but the list goes on and on. Um, Harp is another one that gapped up pretty nicely too, up 62%. That one got a little beat up right there. That one's making a little bit of comeback. SABR, did I mention that one too? Eh, that one took a big hit from 24. It's gapped up a little bit, up 13%. Just be careful of the spreads. The spreads are what you got to be careful of. Um, I still own the Disney. Looks like Disney's starting to make a little bit of a pop. So I'm doing pretty well on that Disney. Um, I'm, I'm, all, I'm day trading it. I'm also swing trading it. You know? I kind of chased it, though. I got it at like 90, 90, 99.60. So, uh, but anyway, look at the spread there. 101.21 to 101.80. Got to be careful of the spreads. If you buy 1,000 shares of the stock... You know, you're talking, you're already down $600. You buy 100 shares. You're already down 60 cents. That's a lot. You got to be careful of the spreads. That's a, that's, remember, when you're a student at Cyber Trade University, the first thing we teach you in the beginning of lesson one, and people are like, well, I'm, I'm not really a beginner. Yes, you are. The most important thing you got to learn is spreads. You can't, you don't make any money until you sell it. Be careful of these spreads. Ben already made 60 cents on trading Royal Caribbean. I'm, I, I'm going to keep giving. I'm just going to keep give, giving round of applause. It's great. Listen, this is what you train for. This is what you ask for. Is it too late? No, it's not too late. So let's go out there and trade together. Now, if you're new here to Cyber Trade University or you're watching it, um, streaming it live on our Facebook or, or YouTube channel, you know what? There's still opportunities. Get in here. Do a quick trial. See what it's all about. Because remember, I always tell everybody this. It's not for everybody. But at least they'll tell you what you get yourself involved in, and then maybe you'll understand why you do something else. But the worst thing that could happen is that you, you're going to love it, and you'll do great. That's the worst thing that could happen. The greatest thing is that you actually make a lot of money doing it. That's the biggest thing. Um, but just to kind of remind everybody, if you are a trial in this room, please make sure you talk to your education advisor. This is not a teaching room. This is a trading room. The whole goal is this. If you like what you see, and you see what people are doing. Remember, don't count my money. Count theirs. If you like it, then you make sure you talk to Education Advisor, and we'll see if you're qualified to be part of the team. Because remember, a lot of you really do not qualify to be here. And, and we'll know once you start and be in the room and you talk to an Education Advisor. And by the way, don't get insulted or embarrassed. It's, it, it, it's okay. We'd rather you, be, rather you know than, than go out there and get yourself in trouble. So just be safe. All right, guys. But in the meantime, Cyber Traders, another exciting day. It's going to be another fun day. And I'm telling you, it's going to be like this. I was, talking to, I was talking to some people being here in a hot spot here in New York. And believe me, I've been confined to my house for two weeks, which is not a bad thing, right? Um, as long as I'm working out and not getting fat. My wife's making all these great dishes. But, um, but you know, listen, 
I, at least we have an excuse. We got, we got to trade. Some people got nothing to do. They're sitting at home. They're like, what do we do next? Oh, we'll do the same thing we did yesterday. Say, what's, what are we doing today, Dad? Oh, same thing we did yesterday. Guess what? If you're a trader here at Cyber Trade University, you know what? What are we going to do next? We're going to trade the market and have fun again. That's what it's all about. So just have fun, guys. Work together like a team, and let's, and let's do pretty well, all right? Let's have fun. Good luck, everybody. Happy trading. And uh, we'll get, for everybody here, we're going to start commentating live audio broadcast in about 15 minutes. Um, and then uh, remember, we got the afternoon meeting at 2.30 to trade the close. All right? Good luck, everybody. Happy trading. Be safe.